Hi, this is a writing, a review at level C2. OK, B, a TV listings magazine, has invited readers to contribute a review of a TV series that is particularly popular at the moment. Write a review explaining why this program is so popular in your opinion and commenting on whether you believe it deserves such popularity. OK, here we go. I am going to write about the series Friends because, despite having been broadcast for several years now, it is still as popular as it was on the first season. This on. Um, let's see, I think probably in American, on is OK, but as a Brit, it clashes with me. Was during the first season or in the first season? Um, OK, it is so. It is still as uh, has been broadcast for several years now. It is still is still as popular as it. I'm going to add ever here. Um, the ever just ma makes it sound better. It just lifts it a little bit. It is still now as popular as it ever was in the first season. Whoops. The reasons for it. It's, I love this in brackets, both possibilities are good. The reason for its being so popular are numerous. To begin with, I will talk about the plot, which, as the title goes, is about friendship and love relations among a group of young New Yorkers. OK, this friendship and love relations... It, Let's see, I don't think it's wrong, but it doesn't feel very natural. I think I would just change this to relationships of friendship and, and love among a group of New Yorkers. However, these feelings appeal people from the most different places as well as its puns or jokes. OK, so my first question is this, however, um, because I, I, I'm wondering how the but or the contrast works. And I, I would like to add something. So, for example, however trite the plot may sound, these feelings appeal to, OK, that's a definite mistake. These, people, these feelings appeal to people from the most different places. OK, so firstly, I would say the most different of places to the most different of places. I, um, different's not bad, but I'd like the word varied, from the most varied of places, as well as its puns or jokes. OK. Puns or jokes, which can be translated from English to other languages. OK. I might say into other languages, but two is OK. Into other languages or from New York to other cultures and environments, and still be fresh. Initially, I was a bit worried about this can, but it goes well with this be at the end. OK, to the point that some of them have permeated to, I would probably say permeated into, everyday language. OK, I've got a problem with this, because this isn't a sentence. Yeah. Um, uh, and you, you need something a bit more and still, uh, uh, and still be fresh. Um, I might put a comma here. That might be one way of sorting it. Um, um, OK. 
okay I, I think that might work I'm just trying to try to try um they have permeated so yes for example this is true to the point that some of them have some of them have permeated into everyday language okay I'm gonna put an even here just to make it sound stronger and better besides okay yeah besides I might put besides this it sounds better I would like to point out how the casting director could choose such a wonderful group of actors and actresses who were unknown before the series but who not only have made a wonderful team but are also very prestigious because of their good work in this series. So besides this I would like to point out how the casting director what's this could doing? Um, how the the uh, I would like to point out how the casting director chose such a wonderful group of actors and actresses uh, who were unknown uh, before the series but who not only have made a wonderful team but are also very prestigious because of their good work in this series so good nothing wrong with good it's a bit uh it's a bit weak though they're marvelous they're outstanding just adds a bit of life to it so albeit unknown again mm, you I'm not sure albeit and al so albeit the cast was unknown when the series began we can say now it is an all-star cast I think I'd probably put this we can now say but we can say now is okay as well albeit the cast was unknown when the series start series began we can now say it is an all-star cast their roles are superb and we can see in each of them a different kind of character they are almost a stereotype of nowadays youth okay um, nowadays youth it sounds a bit awkward I'm not sure it's wrong but it would sound more natural of youth nowadays but without losing their own individual personality and characteristics good if you have seen the series from the first season okay if you ha yes if you have seen the series from the first season you have seen sounds better you will have seen their personal evolution as human beings and also if you've seen yeah you can see a series I prefer watched if you watched the series from the first season you will you will have seen their personal evolution as human beings from the first season let's add an extra word here onwards you will have seen their personal evolution as human beings it seems as as if they were part of our lives okay this is this is fine as well let's see one thing I, I, I like to to see in sentences let's see you split this into two sentences and it's perfectly good one of the things I like to see as I said are semicolons and then that would be a small i yeah uh -huh. um, if you watch the the series from the first season onwards you will have seen their personal evolution as human beings it seems as if they were part of our lives okay I quite like the semicolon here 
We all have a friend who has a similar attitude to in life. I guess in works, but I definitely prefer attitude to life as any of the characters in the series. Ha, that's to say, so that is to say, when you're writing something like this, don't use contractions. Uh, I think contractions are really just for conversation. Yeah, um, uh, the contraction here is um, not right. Um, and again, I think I might put another semicolon here <laughs> because it joins these two sentences. It looks really good and um, it stops, it, it stops the, this short little sentence afterwards. Maybe that's the reason why season after season and chapter after chapter we hear its music its catchy music and we wet willing to see it okay i really like um what you've tried here unfortunately it doesn't work firstly to wet some normally it's something wets our appetite something wets our enthusiasm something wets our interest in uh, interest we hear it's ca catchy music and it wets our willingness to see it i really like the way you're trying to use wet without appetite i looked at this earlier and i looked at some examples and i could find examples and examples and examples with wet 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 somebody's appetite but this i really like yeah to wet your desire to do something wet our willingness to do something i think maybe uh and it wait a second it wets but that's because i've our, our willingness to see it, our desire to see it. Maybe it is the perfect combination of laugh and tear jerker mo moments which make it so gripping. Um, so tear jerker moments, maybe laugh moments, no. Or it's the perfect combination of um hmm a perfect combination of laughter and tear jerker moments um so firstly i think i would say tear jerking moments it's the perfect com combination of laughs laughs would work of laughs and tear jerking moments like this your collocation is tear jerking moment and laughs is on its own which make it so gripping okay Marv this is a really good essay um, let's see let me let me try and mark it for a little bit so you've answered the question completely I think I would give you five five out of five for um, the answering the question okay the vocabulary the vocabulary you've used is great it's got a very good tone to it um, there are lots of interesting words and you've tried to to do quite ambitious things um, I, I really like this wet I like gripping tear jerking um, there are lots of words like li like this um, but it doesn't get get into any overly formal words or things like that. Um, I think I'm probably going to give it something like 4.75 out of 5 for that. Um, so cohesion, how well it hangs together. Um, yes, you you you've you've used lots lots of um, these. Uh, joining words albeit however etc although you haven't quite got them right and you've got a bit of a tendency to, i think to spring sprinkle them 
Um, I think use of uh, semicolons would also give you cohesion. If you're, if you're using these linker words, that's the word I was looking for, if you, you're using these linkers, um, be, be careful, make sure you make a full sentence with them, okay? Um, cohesion, how well does it read? But the whole thing reads very nicely as well. I think maybe 4.25 for cohesion because it also needs to sound a little bit more natural in places. Um, mistakes. There are very few actual mistakes. Most of what I've written are just additions to it. And I, I think the mistakes, most of the mistakes I've corrected are problems with cohesion. I think probably from a mistakes point of view, 4.5, something like that. Um, I know you, you didn't quite nail this wet, this wets phrases, but uh, I wish you had. I would have given you more. Um, let's see. This is a very good essay. I would say at level C2, this is 8.5. Mm, yeah, 8.5 out of 10. This is definitely an A. This is a very good essay. Well done. You should be very proud of it.